Hey, this is Mike from the One Stop Co-op Shop, and today we're doing a full playthrough of Intrepid, currently on Kickstarter. Intrepid is a solo and cooperative game for up to four players, where you each play astronauts on the International Space Station when some horrific disaster strikes, and you're trying to build and repair long enough to fix the main damage and survive. At heart, it's a game of cooperative dice placement and resource management, and it's a lot of fun. I'm going to go through some basics of setup and play, but if you want to jump right to the playthrough, just use the timestamps. And a disclaimer, as always, we have received no compensation for this coverage. We just like to help you make informed decisions for Kickstarter. And if you like what you see here at the One Stop Co-op Shop, consider listening to our podcast every Sunday, joining us on Slack or Discord, or supporting us through Patreon. I'm switching to a wide view as we get into setup because I am showing you how two-player works. For solo, you're going to have to pick a player count and kind of follow along with that. And what you're seeing in frame here are our four main resource tracks. In four player, each player would be in charge of one of these, but with two player, you each have a pair. Oxygen always goes with nutrition and climate always goes with power. We additionally have the space station itself, in this case with all of our starting tiles, where we can build more onto there. And each player is gonna roll a certain number of dice in their chosen color. They're gonna put them on these different station tiles, generally to mitigate their dice luck or gain more dice, and also to generate the resources we need. Meanwhile, while we're generating these resources, we'll be trying to complete the missions, which are the main things we need to do to kind of fix the space station while suffering through increasingly terrible disaster cards. And let's actually start there with setup. So you're gonna pick one intro card for your disaster. In this case, we only have Meteor Shower in the prototype I have. But the designer said they're hoping to include more, but for right now we have all disaster cards keyed to that meteor shower. We're gonna build a disaster deck that increasingly gets worse. We're gonna take two random level one cards, three level two, three level three, three level four, and stack them in that order. So the ones will be on the top and the really terrible fours will be on the bottom. We're also gonna take the mission cards and there are a bunch and we're going to build a deck with as many as the difficulty we choose. Goes down to two for easiest and five for hardest. Uh, I've been struggling to win with four, so I'm gonna try that again and see if I can pull it off this time. And then only one more thing with cards, we're just gonna shuffle our six emergency resupply cards. Next, we're gonna do probably the most important part of setup, choosing which nation our astronaut is from and setting up accordingly. Each nation is rated in complexity, so how tough they are to play. And they're also either an A or a B nation. A deals only with power and climate, B deals only with oxygen and nutrition. So in two player, you have to be one of each. In this case, I've got the United States, which is all about getting uh, doubles on their tiles and has tons of luck mitigation. So that's why they're a one complexity, pretty straightforward and really great at helping others out. And on the B side, I've got the United Kingdom. For complexity, it has uh, this whole timing element that can make it really tough to have the right resources you need at the right time. I thought that would uh, show a nice kind of mix of the complexity levels the game offers. Each nation is going to start with a white cube on their leftmost spot, showing how many dice they start out rolling. Uh, in this case, both of them only have two. And they're going to start with their little resource tracks having a certain drain number in the bottom left, a red number here. In this case, we're all starting on minus three. And that basically means just running this station is going to take three power every turn, three climate, just to kind of keep us alive and well. We're going to put a tracker cube in each of those, and we're also going to put a cube in our zero space of our capacity, which is what we're going to use to upgrade and repair things on the station. Each nation also has fully unique tiles, and two to three of them per nation will say starter on them, and those are going to go right on the space station in the spaces you choose, although U.S. can only build on one, two, three, four, and uh, the U.K. in this case can only build on five, six, seven, eight. In two-player or three-player games, you also get these really powerful boost tiles that basically make up for the missing players by giving you some really nice generation right off the bat. Now, each nation has a ton of extra tiles they can build into, but we're just going to take all the ones that say Tier 1 and kind of build an offer with them of things we could construct. All the other tier cards, two through four, are locked until we spend some dice to unlock them. And you can see uh, it's not too expensive on the one to two player side. And we also have this habitation module and set of docking modules. This is one of the main sources of cooperation in the game. So we'll see that when we get into how to play. But yeah, that's about it. Let's get into how the game goes. So we've got five main phases in each round. Uh, first, we have roll and place dice. It's basically where you roll your dice and you place them. Then you count the resources that were generated for each station and see if you survive, because if you ever don't generate enough to get out of the red, then you die. Then you flip the top disaster card, suffer its effects. You get to spend your capacity to upgrade and fix things. And then you reset the round and do it all over again. But let's get into some details. 
We'll use the US for most of this because they're the basic nation. I'll get into the specifics of the UK in a moment. So in the roll and place dice phase, I roll as many dice as indicated, in this case, two. And here I got a one and a two. And then I get to place the dice on only my own tiles. And tiles can either have separate spots for dice or joined spots for dice. But in any case, they will always tell you what they need. So for this one, any die value one through six is fine. But for this one, I need to place two dice that have the exact same value that are doubles. And when you place a die, you immediately can use the white power underneath. And then additionally, you'll generate the amount of resource for whichever one is indicated also. And if you have individual dice spots, each die place will do that. Whereas with a join one like this, you don't get to activate the white power or gain these resources until you fill both spots. And in this case, for each die place, I get a new die with a value one higher or lower. That's what the US is all about, manipulating and changing the values of their dice. And also for each one, I would generate three power at the end of the turn. Now, all the tiles I've shown so far don't care what die you place in terms of how much they generate, but many will. If you see a symbol like this plus die, that means I get as much as the die value. So if I placed a one here, and this is the cool boost one, which generates for both resources, I would gain one power and one climate. If I place a six here, I'd get six of each. So uh, sometimes you really do want to care about which kind of dice you place. Now, any of us can place dice on the ones with these UN symbols. Any die one through six will unlock the tier two tiles at the end of the turn so we can build better things. And the docking module, if I place a die, let's say a three here, I get to choose another player to gain a die at the exact same value. So that's where a lot of the cooperation comes in. And at the end of the round, every die that we couldn't place or didn't want to goes on the habitation module, which is a very inefficient way to generate a few more resources. Now, phase two is resource generation. We go through one type at a time. So for power, I'm getting three for each die. That's six plus five over here. That's 11. And you subtract whatever the current drain is, which is minus three. So we would get eight power overall. Now, I didn't show you this yet, but we have these mission cards, which again are how you win the game. And to start one, any player has to put a one on it. So you have to use up one of your dice instead of putting it on a tile. And basically what this means is you have to be able to pay this cost without dying for three rounds in a row. So basically we just start working so hard in this case that we uh, are really taxing our bodies and need more nutrition to survive. And that basically adds to the drain for those three rounds. So let's say that I generated uh, like 15 nutrition. Uh, minus three would be 12, but then minus 10 from the mission if we had started, it would be only two. And that matters because capacity, which is what we gain to build stuff, every player gains an amount of capacity equal to the resource that we generated the least of in terms of going over its drain. So let's say the US got eight for each, but uh, the UK only got five oxygen and only two nutrition. Each of us would get only two capacity, barely enough to build anything. Next, we go into the disaster phase. And we flip over the top disaster and they're either going to be recurring disasters that keep on hitting us until we deal with them or one time disasters, which tend to be way worse. Generally speaking, they'll all have you roll an eight sided die and usually you'll hit the station rolled, putting a little black disaster cube on it and often stations above it. So like if I rolled a five, I might hit like five, six and seven. And in the meteor shower disaster, although others might have different effects, each of these cubes subtracts one from the total resources generated by a tile. And if we get four on a single tile, that tile is now inactive. You can't use it all. And if you get five, it's blown straight off the space station. Now for the recurring disasters, you suffer the first time no matter what, but then you generally have options to prevent its effects for the next round. And additionally, you can resolve it to get rid of it forever. After you survive your disasters and your resource generation, you use your capacity. For five capacity, you can flip a tile over to a more powerful side. You can also build the tiles of the tiers you've unlocked for the cost indicated, but adding more stations onto the space station taxes your systems. So you're always going to increase the drain, that red number, you actually just like rotate these little dials up to do it. And it always affects the other players. So if I'm an A player with climate and power, all of my tiles are gonna mess with nutrition and oxygen, again, increasing that cooperation. But these tiles, especially when you get into tier two, three and four are absurdly powerful, like generating two or three times as much as the starting tiles. You can also increase your dice by paying the cost in between levels. So for four capacity, I could uh, get three dice every turn instead of two. And finally, in this specific disaster type, I can pay five capacity to remove one of these cubes or to activate a tile that has temporarily become unavailable. And just to emphasize the point further, you lose if you ever don't generate enough of any of the four resources to at least get your token to zero. And resources don't stay around from turn to turn. They just go all the way back to zero each time. 
And that includes mission. So if I had put your back into it active and I have thus minus 13, if I didn't generate at least 13 nutrition, we are dead. But you win by completing all these missions. Again, you got to survive each one for three rounds. And the second you put your die on one, you get to reveal the next one, although we won't see it yet. There are a couple other details I'm not going to get into too much. But every resource board has bonuses. If you generate a crud ton of that resource, like 14, 18, 24, 32 one-time bonuses you get. And also every resource board gives you some mitigation potential for your other players. Like oxygen lets you trade your capacity to somebody else. Nutrition lets you help them roll extra dice. Power lets you increase its drain to lower the drain of another resource. And climate, a pretty big one, you can take all the negative tokens from one tile and put it on one of your own to kind of free up the more important ones. Okay, finally, let's talk about our nations. As I already said, the US is all about getting doubles and they have lots of things that give them more dice or increase or decrease the values of dice. UK is much more complicated, which fits because they're a four complexity nation. Many of their tiles start with a little counter die They'll start with a three, but it will change. And whatever the counter die is will affect what you can play. So they have to be greater than the counter. So I could play a four, five, or a six here. But my resource generation is tied to the current counter. So I get one plus the counter's value. So even if I put a six here, I'm still only getting a four nutrition from this food locker. But two key things with this, at the end of each round, the current die on the right, if I played one, will replace the counter, which in this case would clearly be terrible because you can't go over a six, so I couldn't even use this to generate nutrition. But I can also at any time take the die and add it to my dice pool with this exact value. But the cost of doing that is it goes back to being a one. And remember, I'm only getting as much resources as related to that counter. So here I can only get two nutrition, whereas, you know, if it was on a five, I could get six nutrition. So I'll be increasing the counters, pulling them off, just trying to kind of time my resources to be the right values I need. Now I didn't get to emergency resupply cards, but you'll certainly see them in my playthrough. So let's just get going. All right, so this is gonna be the main view. I'm gonna show most of the playthrough. I'll go over to the boards as needed to show the resources and stuff. So UK is red, US is yellow. I'm gonna roll them. And okay, a six and a one for the US and a five and a three for the UK. Sorry, the dice are see-through and the camera isn't necessarily picking up their values too easily. So before I do anything else, both of my nations in a two-player game have these boost tiles that produce both of the resources for the die value play. So the US is certainly gonna get a six. And the immediate white power is to roll a new die. So they don't even take away anything, a five, nice. Oh, and silly me, I explained the counters and didn't actually place them. And I had this on the upgraded side. You can tell with the star, it should be on the unstarred side. So the UK just needs a one to four to produce some oxygen. They want to get a five or a six in here. And then they'd love to get, you know, fours or something on these food lockers. So the US would love to help their friend get as much as possible. They're going to use the photovoltaic array, put a one there, and it lets them gain a new die plus or minus one, and they can wrap from one to six. So they'll gain a six. And then we'll use our handy dandy tool of cooperation, go to the docking module and give the UK a six for them to put on their own boost tile, which also lets them roll a new die, a two. Now at this point, the big thing the US is looking for is a double that maybe the UK can give them. And the UK is really looking for anything over three plus uh, anything one through four for the storage tank. And I actually see a way to do this, I think. I'm gonna have the UK give the US both their two and their three. That'll fill up uh, three of the four docking module trading tiles. So that gives the US the same two and three. They'll put one on the photovoltaic array to give themselves a die one higher, get a three, and that lets them get a double. And the double is a really weird ability, but it says decrease a five by one so they can get a four. And they'll trade that right back to the UK. So the UK can get their storage tank going and they can re-roll one unplaced die, but I have five is fine. And we'll activate one of the food lockers. Uh, with so few dice, it's not unusual for us to not activate every tile right off the bat. So we go straight into resource generation. Here's where the math comes in. So we're getting six plus six, 12 power, three for each of these, and then the die value and power. And with power's current drain being minus three, that's nine. And then similarly, six for this double set of dice plus six climate, 12, so nine again. Clearly the UK is gonna be the one probably falling behind and costing us some capacity, which expect to happen because they're the more complex one. But let's see how they did. Uh, for oxygen, they got six and six, 12. So that's actually fine. It's really just gonna be nutrition with their counter dice. So with the food locker, remember I'm ignoring the five. It just had to be higher than the three. I'm gaining the current counter value plus one. So four plus six, 10 minus three is only seven. Seven. seven is our lowest produced resource, so we will each gain seven capacity to spend a little bit later. 
And I had mentioned the emergency resupply cards. Basically how they work is when we get to the spend capacity phase after the disaster phase, if we got a four or less capacity, we can flip one of these to get some more, but it sets us up for potential destruction from the disaster deck later. Speaking of the disaster deck, so it is a one-time event. These icons are used for those resupply cards that is mentioned to trigger negative effects that sit around. But here I'm gonna roll the disaster die one time, hit all tiles in the number rolled and that number plus one, and ouch, disable one tile that was just hit. That means we can't use it next turn at all. But the nice thing is this goes away. We never have to deal with it again. And let's see what's hit. One and wrapping up two. Ouch, the US got hit hard. So there and there. And this is totally my fault, but I somehow misplaced the tokens. Or I don't know if they were never in my prototype box in the first place. So I'm just using brown cubes and they look kind of like the black cubes. We'll survive. So this is terrible. I definitely need both of these. I'm probably gonna have to build something. So for now, let's just take out the uh, climate generator. So that'll be unavailable all of next turn, but then this will go away and I'll be able to use it again. Although with that one hit token at a reduced rate. All right, so now we get to spend our capacity. I was gonna go up one die for each group, but with us being down six climate generation next round, I think I probably need to buy a new tile. So the tier ones I have available cost five or six. I can afford them. You'll see I have one that hits each of my partner's resources, so I can pick which one I want to take out more. And this one needs a double, just like the one that was taken down, but it does give me a new die, so it's kind of only costing one die overall, and it generates six, whereas this one only generates five. Plus, this one hits nutrition, which, remember, is going to be our first mission, so probably a bad idea to put more of a strain on that system. So I'm going to build the heat rejection system two. And that costs me six, I'll have just one left, and I can put it wherever I want, but I don't want to double up numbers if I can help it. Now, meanwhile, as we saw, the UK doesn't really have enough dice to do everything they need to yet. I could build more nutrition tiles to, again, help me out with the upcoming mission, but I think I'd rather start out by getting dice to take advantage of the ones I already have. So I'll spend four capacity to roll three dice around. All right, we reset the round. All of our trackers go back to their bottom drain value. Oh, and I should say I could have used these abilities on each of our resource tracks, but I don't want to yet. Um, all the dice will go away, although for the UK, we will replace the current counter with the new one. So now this will need a six to activate and only a six will work. But while the generated resources reset back, your capacity stays the same. So I will have three for next round and the US will have one. Oh, and whoops, you know, very important. I'd better increase my drain on oxygen by two. So now it's gonna be minus five every turn. All right, let's get to it, round two. Ooh, some nice high rolls by red, which they certainly needed. Not so high for the US, but we'll try to deal with that. So Food Locker 2 can only activate with a six. I think we should do that. Let's have the US use their photovoltaic array, get a die one less or more. They'll get a six for their thermoelectric generator. And they got a five and a three. Let's see, I'm thinking they can give the three to the UK, but let's have the UK. I mean, six is not too much worse than five. We should be okay with that. Now let's then re-roll. Oh, a six, crud. <laughs> now let's see, the US needs doubles. So let's go ahead and have the UK trade them a five. And with their new one, they can get a new die plus or minus two. Let's uh, get the three, I guess. And the US will give a three back to the UK for their oxygen storage tank. So there we go. Let's see, I can re-roll one in play style. Let's actually re-roll this six. I don't need anything that high. Okay. Oh, I know. Uh, the US will place this here, increase it to a four, and they'll trade that back to the UK which will let them get the minimum value to activate the food locker, one higher than the counter die. And we have one die left. We could put it on the habitation module and how it works is for every die there, you're gonna gain one resource, but all of them have to go to the same types. You're gonna pick whatever your straggler is basically. But for a single die, I think I'd rather unlock those tier two much more powerful tiles. Cause if I can get like a really, really strong on nutrition one, that first mission should be easy next round. So I can just take them, there's four at each tier and put them right over my offer. And I like to organize them by type and tier. So here's all my tier one nutrition, tier two nutrition, you get the idea. All right, let's see how generation went. Uh, we're getting three per die here for power, but minus one total, so not minus one per die. So it would have been six, but now it's five. A plus six from this, so that's 11. Minus three at eight, but I don't think we'll get that high for most of them. Well, actually, we're fine for climate. Uh, six from our new one plus six is going to get us to nine. So right now, eight is the lowest. But we know the UK can beat that. So we're getting a crud ton of nutrition. Oxygen is a problem, though. 
So let's see, one more than the counter here is four, one more than the counter here is six, so that's 10 plus five, 15 minus three is 12. That's only two shy of the 14 resource bonus we could have earned. But oxygen, not nearly as pretty. Six and five is 11, minus five is only six. So here's a case where if I had put the die in the habitation module, I could have increased that to seven and it would have gotten us one more capacity for doing so. But we'll make this work. So six gets the UK to nine and the US to seven. And we draw a new friendly and fun disaster. Oh, another one time. Roll the disaster die three times, <laughs> ugh. Now, by the way, our disabled token does go away. So all of the US's are available to use, although they don't need that much climate. All right, so three times, be gentle. Eight, four, and eight again. Now, it was sort of the worst it could have been, because remember, these are the boost tiles that give me uh, both of a type, so having two on them is terrible. So at the start of the capacity phase, remember, with the uh, climate tiles ability, I can transfer from any tile all the uh, negative effects to one of mine. And I think I'll do it with the cruddier climate one since I've got an upgrade. Now, in terms of actual capacity, I think the UK wants to build a better nutrition one, especially because this one's going to have a six on it next round, which means that the best I can do is pull off the six, hey, free die, but it'll become a one and generate almost nothing for me. And of course, I'm really looking at these tier twos. I can barely afford them. Let's see, this one would need doubles three to five. Gosh, that's tough. And the power just lets me set a die to one of my counter values. Not that great. But man, oh man, 10 nutrition. I don't have to worry about any counter stuff. Let's look at this one. Ooh, gain a new die equal to the current counter. And this can still, the max this could generate would be, I guess, five next round, but it could go all the way up to uh, seven. But am I gonna be able to generate enough? Let's see, five, oh, that'll be a four. So that'd be another five, that'd be 10. And then if this is a one, that would be uh, 12, maybe six, that'd be 18. See, if I get everything with this, I can barely survive uh, starting the mission next round. And I love getting more dice. So what the hey, let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and build the biomass production system too. I'll use up all of my capacity. And I'm gonna have to increase power drain by two. And that immediately gets a three counter, by the way. So power drain up to minus five. And I think the US will keep it simple and just get their die increase. And with that, we clear everything except the uh, counters. We do put all our resources back again. And four, six, we get our new counters. And here we have to pull that one off and reset it to a one to be able to do anything with it. Actually, you know what? The UK is getting all these extra dice next turn. So with that in mind, change of plans. Let's not uh, get the extra dice. Let's instead flip our only power generator. So that costs five, but it doesn't increase any of our drain. And look, now I can put three dice here each time getting a new die with a plus or minus one value and get three power for each. So that puts us to two instead of three, but I like our power generation now in terms of equaling our climate generation. All right, let's get to this. Three dice for UK, sixes, two dice for the US. All right, so of course we want that one first. Let's re-roll it. And we got a two. And we might as well go ahead and do this now. Take the six off here. Remember, we're gonna replace this with a one. So this is barely gonna produce anything this round. All right, let's go ahead and trade a six to the US and get them uh, getting that one at full power. That lets them roll a new die, a five. We've got a double already. And this is pretty important. Remember, we gotta get our missions going to win the game, but I need to have a one to actually start it. So let's uh, have the US go ahead and switch that down to a one. And by the way, important note, you cannot pull off counters that are one. And just so we don't forget, we'll go ahead and start the mission. And this will be used as the counter. Each time we pay this cost and survive, we'll tick it up one. And when it gets to four, it goes away and the mission is discarded. But the second we do that, we get to see uh, next one will be 10 oxygen. Yikes, that is all on the UK. We are going to have to help them to produce as much as possible. All right, let's see. I think the US will trade a five to the UK. Let's use up two of our trading spots already. We'll get the bare minimum to produce there. We can already do the bare minimum to produce here. I know, crud. I'm getting a little worried about uh, getting the US to double at least one of their two things here. Oh, that gets them an extra die. Hmm. Okay, let's have the UK third trade. We only have one left. Trade a six to the US. So have the US go here, bring it down to a five, and they get to get a new die that is plus or minus two. Let's make it a three. 
Let's go here and make it a four. I think we're not going to worry about the other climate one. Climate should be fine either way. And with three tokens, that would only produce three anyway. So let's trade this with our final one back to the UK. And yeah, that sets them up pretty much perfectly. Uh, so they can gain a new die equal to the counter. So that's a three. We can put that in the oxygen storage tank. And this one I think I actually will put in the habitation module to increase whatever our lowest uh, resource generation is by one. All right, yikes, yikes, yikes. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so power, we've got nine minus one is eight. Plus six, geez, it's 14 minus five is still nine. Awesome. Climate, not as great. Uh, six plus six minus one, five, 11 minus three, we got to eight. Over here, the friendly UK. Oxygen, we got six and six, so that is 12 minus five is seven, lowest one yet. But then our friend Nutrition doesn't have three drain, it has basically 10 for now, although this will tick up to the two, wherever the two happens to be, there it is. Minus 13. Now we're getting five, one plus the counter here, uh, two more, so that's seven, uh, five more, that's 12, six, that's 18, minus 13, so just five. But we survived one round of the mission, and we had one die in habitation, so we can boost that up to six and get six capacity for each of us. That means the UK is just at six, and the US is at eight. They probably need to get another die soon. And we are on to disaster level two. If you thought the uh, level ones were bad, yeah, you haven't seen anything yet. Oh, I hate this one. Hit each tile with one or more disaster tokens. So if they're hurt, they're gonna be hurt more. Probably good I consolidated, but bad. The aluminum shielding now has four tokens on it. And that means I literally cannot put dice on it unless I spend five capacity to take one of those off. Yeah, so suddenly even with a new tile, my climate generation is not looking stellar. Now, this is interesting. Every turn to prevent this, I would have to put two dice here, but you can do the resolve effect to get rid of a threat the first time it's drawn. Prevention is, of course, impossible. So if we each downgrade our dice track, oh, I can't, the US never upgraded theirs. So we're gonna have to just tank through this at least once by just putting two dice on it, yuck. So let's see, UK will totally be fine for nutrition next turn. We're actually gonna have better values with our upgraded counters. So I do think with both the need to counter advancing threat next turn and probably going to uh, throw away some dice upgrades, I'll upgrade for both of them. So UK is up to four dice and US is up to only three. Oh, this is gonna be an ugly one. All right, and we clear all our dice and our counters tick up. We're looking pretty good for next turn, but the third turn surviving with like that one out, that will be a tough order. And very important, of course, don't clear your mission counters because of that would be horrible. All right, going into another round. US is rolling three, UK four, but don't forget we've got that threat. We probably wanna put two dice on to deal with. And I don't think we can start the stop and, <laughs> I think we got an add an E there, breathe, <laughs> the stop and breathe one yet, because we are not getting that much oxygen, which is bad because we definitely got to get our second mission going. We're playing on hard with four missions. That is a lot. So we can go ahead and put a five here. That gains me a new die equal to that one, a four. And let's have the US uh, go ahead and do that, get a new die rerolled or rolled into their pool. All right. <laughs> Good for doubles. We can turn those into sixes though, maybe pass them on. Let's do that. So that's gonna roll it over to a six. Let's pass it to our friends. And they can do theirs and get a die roll. Oh, they need another six for that foot locker, don't they? A four. God, they have a lot of fours. Well, that's good. They can pass them back to the US to uh, like give them an automatic double. Let's get another six. Pass that one along as well and get the food locker the last time we can use that one. Now, I don't want to forget, I want uh, two more dice to go over and take care of that advancing threat. US just needs uh, two double dice. At that point, they can't even use that. Oh, what a terrible thing that is. So let's see. Let's go ahead and reroll the one, see where it gets with the oxygen storage tank. Okay. So I guess I'll put a four here. That'll get up to a nice value for next round. Uh, the US can go ahead and turn that into whatever they feel like, a three. Uh, for the last two trading actions, we can give that to the US. That'll get them a new die. Doesn't matter much, we can make it a six. So that's a two to prevent the advancing threat for two players. And then uh, this can go on the habitation module since we're not gonna start the mission yet. And we would need uh, two dice to unlock tier three. All right, let's see how we did. Power should be fine. Climate's gonna be the real problem. Although man, Jesus got a lot of damage over here. So that's a nine minus two, seven. 
and then uh, plus five, so that's 12, minus five, seven. Then climb it, uh, we've got four, no, five, one cube, plus five, so that's 10, minus three, also seven. Actually, that was some nice kind of equality there. All right, and as for the UK side of things, we've got plus six for both. Nutrition, hopefully it will be awesome this round. So let's see, that's getting six and six and a three, so that's a 15, 21, minus three is 18, minus 10 is eight. They actually outproduced uh, the US on both their things. Although, ooh, I'm gonna lose that one next round, and, but this one will be higher so I should still be able to survive. Where did oxygen fall? Just plus 12, minus five, seven. Oh, so we've got three sevens and an eight. Clearly the one die in the habitation module won't help at all because we can't increase all the sevens, but that was a, a solid capacity turn. If we do get to dial, put your back into it one more time. So uh, next turn, we still have to pay the 10 nutrition, but then this is gone. Nutrition can boost way up again. Now, before we see our new threat card, we have to decide if we want to resolve the old one. So first we check if we prevented it, so nothing happens from that. You resolve all your old ones before you do your new one, then we could downgrade our dice track. Now, in one sense, it's better to not downgrade our dice track because rolling more dice, but then having to put one for each player over there kind of gives us more options with our luck. But on the other side of things, if you want to build our dice up, it costs one more to already be up there. So if we downgrade, it'll be cheaper to get ourselves back to that level. So I think I will go ahead and downgrade and get rid of that card. But again, with the intention of climbing up again soon. Okay, so advancing threat, you're terrible. Get out of here. But we will probably have a new one. Okay, it's another immediate one, which again is usually worse. Okay, roll the disaster die. Hit one. Oh my gosh, we're gonna hit uh, the two numbers higher than the number we roll and add two to climate drain. After I just lost a climate thing, and I'm probably about to have it be blown up. All right, well, at least we don't have to worry about it next round. And we're rolling. One, oh, it's all on the US again. So this is ugly. We're getting a, a third cube there. I took this off because this one is blown up. And another one on my special one, darn it. All right, so it looks like the US needs to invest in, well, I don't know, do we need more climate? I guess we're okay. We're, we're kind of hanging on and none of the missions deal with us. Maybe they can just get more dice, but UK seems to be okay on nutrition. They need to buy something for oxygen so we can start that other mission this round. I always look at the tier twos first. The only one I can afford is minus power. And we just got another cube on power plus a cube on the like overall power generator. So it's not great. And yeah, I can't get this one. If I go down to tier one, they're cheaper. That's just plus six. This could also be up to plus six. But this one lets me gain a die. Oh, but it's doubled. Well, let's look at systems. Hmm. Climate just lost an entire system and the drain just went up to five. So yeah, okay, let's just spend seven for the carbon dioxide scrubber one. So if we got seven over this round, plus six, minus 10, we'd be down to like three capacity, but we'd be surviving. So I mean, I don't know, we haven't even been hit yet. Let's go right there with it. And then I'll leave them with one capacity. Okay, meanwhile, the US, God, the US. Well, you know, I guess, their cruddy capacity they're gonna generate won't be such a big deal because we know oxygen is gonna be low next time. We have a ton of capacity. Maybe we should just up dice for now. I mean, definitely one. But I could go all the way up to having a four dice and help out UK now that they have a whole extra double to, uh, to fill. Oh, I didn't mark the new uh, climate drain. And actually, you know, I think I'm gonna use, uh, so the power station lets you increase the power drain. So it would be minus seven. Do you decrease another one by two? I think I'm gonna lower oxygen back down to minus three, because this is definitely gonna be our weakest link, even with uh, power being more expensive, I think. And with that in mind, maybe I uh, buy a new power system, because gosh, this one, if it takes one more hit, it's out of commission. Let's see, I can't afford a tier two. I could get uh, this one. It gains me a new die, like the one I'm replacing. The most you can get me there is only four power. Hmm. This one can give me six power and I'd rather mess with nutrition because we won't need as much in a second once the mission's completed. So yeah, let's build this. That's all my capacity though. And we're gonna be poor next time. <laughs> all right, there we go. Nutrition's down to minus five, but again, I think we're gonna be struggling across the board. All right, I'm resetting. And we're gonna have an extra die next round because I'm gonna have to pull off that six. But again, we should be okay with nutrition, I think, especially compared to oxygen. All right, so my plan this turn, we gotta start, stop, and breathe. We'll finish, put your back into it, and then we'll see what our other two missions are as we go along. We got one more level two, and then we're into really bad territory. All right, we got three dice each. All right, some middling values. 
but I'll have them pull off the six first off and they get a one for the counter now. And actually, let's go ahead and do that. That lets him get a five, which will be perfect for that one. We know we need these to survive. And then yuck, I'm not loving these other options. Let's see, I can use uh, that one. Reroll any one unplaced die. I mean, the two will activate that. Let's reroll the four and hope for, ah, there we go. Awesome, I'll put that there and get a new die. One. I can trade that to the US and they can change it into a six. Man, when that's gone, that's gonna really crush my uh, mitigation strategies. I don't know how to get that one to go off and I need it to. All right, let's see. So I'll decrease this to a one. Do it again to get a six. And I think I gotta do that and roll. Come on, high number, high number. Yes, oh, that was awesome. I guess I can go ahead and put that there. I need the nutrition. All right, so let's trade that to them. And wait, they don't need the six. They can just get a four. So let's trade the four to them. Oh crap, they need both, don't they? So I'll trade a four and a six to them. And okay, so they can gain a new die equal to an adjacent. So they can get a five. I guess that's the best we can do. And I'll trade these both back over to the US. Oh man, Mike, don't kill everyone. Problem is the double. How do I go to double? I need the climate. Oh, and I didn't start the mission yet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we just don't have enough dice. Could like pull off the foot locker again, but I don't think I have enough nutrition then. Yeah, we're not making enough climate unless I power this. If we don't if I don't power this, we're dead. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Alright, I guess we can start the mission. God, this is bad. Okay, okay, okay. You know what, I think we'll survive without the nutrition. Let's not put that there. We didn't get any bonus from it, so we can just rewind that back without any real trouble. Okay, so this can start the mission. Wait, but then how do I get a, ha? Huh. Well, hold on, they could have traded the two to the US instead of the one, because they can use the one to start the mission. Is that any better? Is that any better? I think it is. If they do a three, that can become a two. Gain a new die, plus or minus two. So I can get a six, actually. Okay, and then I can decrease an unplaced die. It doesn't matter. All right, so this is actually, okay, yeah. If I just rewind, <laughs> I had to rewind some things. All right, so I'm gonna start, stop and breathe. And I get to see my new mission, narrow your focus. Consume the resources of one active tile for three rounds. That's actually not too bad. Oh crap, I gotta read better. From each player for three rounds. Because I was going to say, like, extra food lockers, that'll be easy. What's going to be tough is the U.S. I need to, like, buy some cheapo thing or have, like, some damage thing and just keep on using the things from that. All right, so this I guess I can put on the habitation module. Yeah, because that was a hey, hectic turn, but I think we came out of it okay. But we won't know for sure until we count. So I'm getting five and four, nine climates. So just four overall. Power, I'm getting six and six, so that's a 12, and four more, so that's 16 minus seven, so that's nine. I definitely need to keep on <laughs> scaling that one down. All right, oxygen with my new minus 10, so it's minus 13 overall. I've got six, 12, 18, minus 13, so that's five. And then nutrition, the last time I got to deal with this, that's minus 15. Oh, so wait, I didn't even do that one, oh God. Okay, so I'm getting seven from this, that's great. Uh, six from this, so that's 13. Six from this, so that's 19, minus 15, four. Now, unfortunately, I got two at four, which means, again, the habitation module won't actually help. But thank God this mission is done, because that's about to become a six, and I'll have like two cruddy uh, food generation systems. And stop and breathe, it ticks up to two. I'll have to survive that two more rounds. Now, because we each only generated four capacity, we're gonna be able to use one of those emergency resupply cards, but we'll get to think about that after we see our disaster. Here it is, our last level two. Let's see how it can destroy the US. Firestorm. Here, yeah, we're gonna roll a die, hit a one and two numbers higher. Oh my gosh, we have to kill a tile that was just hit. It have to be an active tile, so it can't be one with like four damage on it that's inactive. Wowie, 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 please. Hit over here. <laughs> the US has suffered enough. Please roll a high number. No, no, gosh. Oh my Lord. So that and that inactive and this thing I just bought. So I can't pick that. Can't pick that. Cause that's getting us nutrition. And so I have to destroy this beautiful tier one thing I just bought. Go oh, help me. So firestorms on space stations, not safe. Who knew? All right, so we're going into our buying phase. We definitely need this. Again, you can only get this when you've got four or less capacity in the round. One player gains 10, but look at this. 
If this symbol comes up on a future disaster card, we'll have to do this effect and then discard this. So this just kind of sits around saying, hey, we might destroy you. 10 capacity. Well, there's no question about that. All the capacity is going to the US. That gets them to 14. And heck, I might even have uh, the UK use their power to transfer capacity over here and get us up to like 15 or 16 or 17 because they are in a bad, bad way. That's wrapping up the round. Everything resets. And yeah, we got some pretty iffy nutrition production. Thank God that uh, we don't need it anymore as much. All right, so buying stuff, let's start with the US. So first, I think they absolutely need to take one token off this because that is such an important power and it's still getting us six uh, energy production and that will make it available again. Thank you. Second, since climate is basically fine, I think I'm gonna use their power to transfer all their effects. I know it's making it likely this one might get hit, but it's actually not changing our production overall. It'll get us more energy production, which is good because I think I'm gonna up power to being a nine drain to lower something else. Well, you know, wait, no, I'm not because I forgot. I just lost an entire power section. So let's up their dice. Again, we clearly need more dice. And then, hmm. So they have four, and the UK has five. So we could like flip a tile. Actually, you know what? I think I have an idea for me. We have the UK give one capacity to the US. And with that, they're going to buy a new tile. Uh, we'll increase nutrition drain by two, but nutrition's fine now. And the main reason for that is I need a tile to just do nothing with for the US at least to uh, do narrow your focus. I think uh, the UK will be super easy with all their cruddy food lockers now. So that puts nutrition drain to seven, but we'll be okay. Alrighty, so I definitely wanna start our third mission this turn. Oh man, we only have, uh, I don't wanna deal with level three disasters, but we gotta. Okay, three dice for the UK, four for the US. All right, all right. I know sixes, but we can work with this. Oh, I guess I'll pull off that six and turn that into a one. And let's go ahead and place a six here and get a reroll. Come on, come on. A five, wait, that was not a six, crud. I think it was a five or maybe it was a two. Well, let's reroll it because I really don't remember. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was some cheating going on, but I don't know what it was. So we'll put a six here and reroll. Or not reroll, but roll a new one. Okay, one, I can deal with that. Let's change it into a six. Or actually, wait, maybe I don't want to do that because I need a one to start the uh, mission. Let's see, two fives would activate that. I do need a six for that one though. So now I will go ahead and get a six and then I'll pass it on to the UK. So they'll do that. And then I guess let's go ahead and do that and that gets them a five back. And then, I mean, this is enough. And then they can pass a five to the US and they'll be able to pass something else back later. Okay, still need a one to start the mission. I can certainly do two fives. No, that would give me a one because it can be uh, two higher or lower. So that will go on narrow your focus. What's our last one? Consume two dice from each player from the habitation module for three rounds. So I just need to get a ton of dice extra. That's oh, rough with both of these. All right, and then I just need to get them a one through four. I'm not going to have any extra dice left. But none of these matter in terms of how much they produce. So I can just have that become a three, and then that one become a four. I can pass that on, and they get a four, and I get a five, and easy peasy, we're done. Okay, we're producing, but don't forget we have to each pick a tile to produce nothing. So it looks like for me it's going to be my heat rejection system. Well, I guess we'll see. So for power, I'm producing six and six, that's 12, minus seven would be five. See, so yeah, if I cut out of those, I would die. <laughs> for climate, I'm producing three plus five plus six, so that's 14, minus five would be nine. See, so yeah, let's cut the three, we still produce six. So I fulfilled the mission for the uh, US. Okay, meanwhile, over here, oxygen's still minus 10. I'm clearly not stealing anything from that. We've got six. 12 and five, so that's 17 minus 13, only four. And then nutrition, we can give up either of these. So we'll give up this one. This will give us three and six, so that's nine plus five, that's 14. Minus seven is seven, the highest we got. And that is fulfilling, so both our missions are good. Stop and breathe, we gotta do one more round. Now you're focused two more times. And of course we haven't even started the one that needs uh, two extra dice from each of us. We don't have those to spare yet. So no habitation, so our capacity is going up four. US is only at four, they were at zero. And hey, hey, what new stuff is awaiting us? Why? <laughs> I kind of like the ones that are turn to turn, they aren't as bad. 
Okay, it's going to hit three sections for each tile hit at one to nutrition drain. God, thank God that's our highest one. All right, so that wasn't the worst possible. We just hope we don't roll terribly. One, of course. <laughs> they just hate the U.S. so much. Uh, all right, so that one is incapacitated again, unless I spend five to free it up. And that is three nutrition drain, so it's drain 10 now. But I think we'll be okay, because even with uh, giving up an entire tile, they were still all right. We had built so much up for it. So we're getting into spending. Let's flip another resupply. One player gains eight. And each player downgrades their dice track. That would be devastating with the new mission we have. All right, I think the U.S. has to be the one gaining eight. And they're going to get more dice and free up their energy. That's really all they can afford. As for the U.K., definitely also need more dice. And that's all they can do. My nutrition production should be much better now, and I'll get a free D6. I like that. We'll need the extra dice, because I think I need to start the next mission. If I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Ooh, I am going to move with uh, their power that over. I, mean, I think I want to start this, but I don't know if it's possible. I mean, I need a die to start the mission, and then four more extra dice. I need five extra dice. I just got two more than I had last time. I'll have one more there, so that's three more. Uh, is this even possible? So five dice for US, four dice UK. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. Uh, six is all over the place. And let's get another one. Yeah, nutrition is minus 10. So if this gives me plus five, I'm just seeing like how much nutrition I need. Plus five, that would be plus five, so that'd be 10. So if I can activate two of these, I can give up one freely again. But I do have to activate all of them. Oxygen. Oh, I still have stop and breathe one more round. I was going to say I could just kind of let that roll. Now, I just want to remind you, we're playing on hard difficulty with four missions. If we were playing on normal difficulty, this would be it and I would win the game, which I think would be very easy for me to do. So, <laughs> okay, let's do the obvious ones. Uh, another six. I just keep on rolling them. And let's do that one. Okay, one in case I can actually start the mission. Actually, sixes are not great. And have too many of them. So let's go ahead and do that. And that'll get me an adjacent one. I guess I'll get a three. So let's see. That one's fine. Let's re-roll one. I don't love either of these. But the six could help the U.S. So let's roll that one. A one. Huh. Okay, I need some middling values. And I want to put a six over there. Let's see. I've got like a little run here. So I can easily get a double of whatever I want. I guess a double two getting me another four would help them out the most. So let's use that to turn a die into a two. And then we'll do two there. So that gains me a new die. I'll get a four. I think I'll give both of these to the UK. So I get a new three. Now, I don't think I can start the mission. I think I would die. Because that'll get me new dice, but that won't. So I would eventually be down to one die. Yeah, so I don't have four to put in the habitation module and one to start the mission. I got to wait one more turn to start that last mission. But the rest of this turn should be okay. I mean, none of these uh, matter too much. I can just kind of put whatever I want. And then I'm going to end up with four dice on habitation, which again is a bummer because that's just what I need if I had the extra die to start the mission. Wait, wait, hold on. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Can I survive if I pull off one of these counters? Nutrition is minus 10. I need to give up that one. So if I like pulled that off, it'll be getting plus two. So two nutrition plus five would be seven plus five would be 12. So I survive. I think I think I'm counting that right. I would survive. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to turn it into a one. I'm going to start the last mission. God help us all. And then I'll have four dice on the habitation module that just get eaten by it. All right, all right. Living dangerously, but I got everything in motion. I have the potential to win. So power. It's just minus seven. And I've got six plus six is 12, so I get five. Okay, climate. I'm eating the plus three again for the mission. So it's a six plus three is eight. So that's only three. Okay, oxygen. I'm about to have a surplus because this is the last time I have to worry about the mission. But I've got 12 plus 5 is 17, minus 13 is 4. But then, boom, you are done. And then nutrition, I'm just saying whatever to this one generation. I'm getting 5 and 2 is 7 and 5 is 12, so just a 2. But that does advance and narrow your focus. Last turn on that one. And then I do have the 4 habitation. Oh, crap, crap. 
Okay, it's okay. <laughs> it does say two dice from each player, but I still had two trade spots left, so I can just say the UK gave one and turned it into a US die, so we're fine, we're fine. We will have to watch that next time, so that does tick up to two. So if we can survive two more turns with horrific disaster cards going, we'll win. But we're only getting, God, two? <laughs> Two capacity? That's really bad because we have no way to address whatever the disaster does, especially for the US. All right. Okay, so it didn't have a symbol to trigger any of our uh, resupply cards. Well, the disaster died one time, hit all tiles in that sector, plus one, plus two, and plus three? What? Oh, and we gotta use dice to prevent it and a six to resolve it. We don't have extra dice. We don't have extra dice. Although a single one will stop it from hitting us next turn. <sighs> Lord. Okay, so this thing is hitting fully half the station. Please, God, just roll a five. How nice would that be? How kind-hearted would the world be if this rolled a five? Seven. I mean, that's still better. Although, God, it's hitting two of those. Okay, one, two, three, uh, four, and that one. So I have no way to get enough power again. Oh, my Lord. God, it's so wasteful. I should just build a new power station. Instead of trying to save this old one over and over again. But whatever, I'm going to, uh, UK will trade two capacity to them so they can spend it all and just limp this thing into operation again. That means the UK's got three, enough for zero. Now one good thing I'm realizing, I should be able to have, um, at least like, I don't have to activate both of these oxygen things. I can take a die from there and do something else with it. All right, so let's reset. Uh, all of my food lockers are technically available this time. All right, we are survivors. We're going to make this happen. Come on, let's do this. All right. Okay, nice mix of values. I like that already. Let's do a six here. Get the bonus die. I think the five actually works good here. Gets us a bonus four. I need some high values for all this stuff. Okay, we can do that. And let's do this and reroll an unplaced die. Hope for a five or a six. And that's another four. And let's see if I do a... Three and a three here, I can get a five. If I do that, I can get a new die. Okay. Trade that over. So we need one to prevent the disaster and then four at least for the habitation module. Yeah, so honestly, I think we should be okay. And I don't even really need to produce on there. I think it'd be better to put in the habitation module. Because I think oxygen, wait, oh, I didn't put anything here yet? I thought I had. So I guess I'll trade a six to them. They can do that, get a new die. <laughs> All fours. I do need a five. I'll trade a five to them. I'll use that for the food locker. I'm not going to worry about the carbon dioxide scrubbers. And then I can just do these with whatever I want because I keep on getting dice from them. Oh, crud. I don't think we have enough dice. You know, I'll pull this off and turn it into a one because I'm just going to not <laughs> even use that production anyway. I can do that every turn, I guess, for an extra die. And clearly I'll give one to the US so they can fulfill their requirement. All right, so I'll put one die on the meteor strike so it won't happen again. We're not getting rid of it. And then the other four go where they have to go. All right, here we go. Here we go. So no climate production from that. Or no, actually, this one's worse now. <laughs> How did that happen? So we won't count that one's climate production. So we're getting three and six is nine. Minus five is four. For power, we're getting six and six is 12. Minus seven is five. So we're okay over there. And yeah, we ignored uh, that one. And over here, we're clearly ignoring the <laughs> one this would have produced. Well, let's check oxygen first. So it's four plus six is 10. So we get to seven. Yeah, I mean, clearly I don't even need that tile anymore. And then for food, I've got five and six. So that's 11 and four is 15 minus 10 is five. Nice. So I actually got up to four, five or six for all of them. So let's go up four capacity. Here's the big thing, now your focus is done. And with all our habitation device, we only need to survive one more round, everybody. All right, Meteor Strike doesn't take effect. So this is our last disaster card. Oh my gosh, come on, come on. Okay, it's not a symbol that we have, which is already great. Just the fact that it's not a symbol that we have. So we don't have to like <laughs> destroy two tiles. That would have been immediate death, I think. So what does it do? Uh, hit, die, plus one and plus two. Disable all starter and tier one tiles that were just hit. Oh my gosh. Disable means, remember, we can't use the next turn unless we spend five. <sighs> I don't even know where I wanted to hit for this. God. All right. Here we go. Two, three, four. Of course, it's on the US. Now, on a positive side, 
if there is a positive side, it just hit uh, two things that were disabled anyway. So <laughs> it doesn't matter that they're disabled. But here's the question. These say starter, these say tier one. Is a boost a starter? Is a boost a starter? I'm going to be nice to myself and say it isn't. Because otherwise I think I'm dead. <laughs> so uh, the designer can pop into this video when uh, it's live and tell me if I'm wrong. But we're going to say it's not a starter because it doesn't have the word starter. And that definitely says starter. Totally fair, I think, uh, judgment call here. <laughs> Alrighty, and heck yes, we're emergency resupplying because we never have to draw that last disaster card. Each player gets two. Each player gets two. That's not what I need. I needed big money here. All right, so this is all about the U.S. They need to not kill us. <laughs> so if this is not disabled, power will be fine. Um, we can generate six and five. We can even tip this down to to boost climate up. So let's let's do that first of all. So that's nine. And that'll make climate three. So we should be able to survive with all this stuff gone, as long as that's not disabled. And you know what? Let's be mean to myself. Let's say it was disabled and I'll spend five to undisable it. So <laughs> literally all I can activate is my power station and this, and that'll be enough to win. Yes. Okay. I like this. And hey, UK, you can help, I guess. Uh, huh. I don't even know. Nutrition and oxygen we're fine on now. So why don't you just roll an extra die? That always helps. There we go. Okay, so no worries now. We didn't even have to cheat. <laughs> we have way too many dice, but all we got to do is put four in the habitation thing and just survive and we're good. So resetting. Oh man, I'll need a lot of sixes if I want to get my full food, but I'll need to get my full food. I'll be okay. That's a five and five. That's a number you hear me say a lot. All right. Got a few sixes. Some fives for the U.S. I can do that. Let's do that right off the bat, since that's basically the only station they're going to be using. Ooh, they got a six. They can just trade that right over. I guess we don't have to prevent the meteor strike, technically, because I think we win during the resource gathering phase if we can just uh, finish the last mission, which we will, and just survive. So, yeah, let's not worry about that. We should be fine, I think, right? Okay, let's get this to a uh, three... Let's do the doubles and gain, I don't know, a five. Um, they need six and six and six. Let's do that. Get a five. That's fine. We'll do that. We'll do that and roll one of these threes. Oh, gosh. What was it? I don't know. Let's say it's a four. Well, you know, I definitely don't need <laughs> these high numbers. So there we go. Easier to activate. I will have them trade a six over so they can do this one and gain a five. And that lets them do both of those and gain another five. All right, I mean, we're, yeah, we're basically kitted out. We can just do whatever we want with those. It'll get two more dice. So it's a five and a six. So we're putting six in the habitation module. We'll actually have two left over, just in case things go terrible. But I think they won't. I think we actually did it on hard mode. Okay, let's see. Power, six plus five, 11. We got two. And climate, uh, five minus three. We got two. All right, oxygen. I mean, we got to be fine, right? Five, 11, uh, uh, geez, 15 minus three. We got 12, almost to a bonus. Never got to one. And then nutrition is where things are a little more iffy. Seven, nine, 13, uh, four, 17. Oh my gosh. And do we have two dice per player in the habitation model? You bet we do. So boom, we have one. And by the way, unless you think that game was too easy, don't forget you could go up one higher and have a fifth mission. Ooh, we would have had to have minus 10 climate for three turns. How much climate were we producing at the end? Two over. Totally easy. And we would have had to deal with three disaster level four. Let's see. Major breach. Full disaster die. Hit and disable all tiles in three sections. Wow. How about another one? Hit all tiles, destroy all tiles with four more disaster tokens. You just hit everything. You just hit everything. The entire system fails. Oh, and then, hey, that would have triggered plus two nutrition drain. What else? System impact. Roll a disaster die five times. Hit all tiles in each rolled one. Each player destroys an active tile, one that's still working. Yikes. So there you go. That was Intrepid, one by the skin of our teeth. Like, literally, thank you, the UK, for your ability to pull off dice. That was key here. And US ability to change dice and send them where they were needed. Wow. 
And don't forget, you've got all these other ones. Russia, nice and straightforward. Germany and Canada, lots of fun with uh, odds and evens and like pulling dice out of a locked area. Japan, melts my brain, melts my brain. You have to actually pay attention to how the dice are facing and flip them to new values. What? Brazil, some of your stations are locked. You have to unlock them. Malaysia, Malaysia. Every tile you activate makes all your dice go up or down some amount of numbers. And if they go below one or above six, they're gone. Oh, oh, I activated with a six and everything went down by one? Oh, those ones are just destroyed. Oh, where all my dice go? <laughs> So that is Intrepid on Kickstarter now. I'll click the link that just popped up if you want to watch my review of the prototype I've been playing with. Good gaming, everyone, and we'll see you at the next stop.